I'd like to call up the first of our candidates. Will you please welcome to the stage Lindsay Pointer from the School of Government at Victoria University. The title of Lindsay's presentation is Ritual and the Quest for Justice. I'd like you to meet Janice. Janice was my first car. I bought her right when I turned 16, named her Janice, and quickly became emotionally attached. Then, during my third year of university, Janice was stolen from the parking lot outside my flat. When I walked out the door and saw that she was stolen, I had a lot of different feelings, but at the root of those feelings was a desire for justice. Now, when we hear this word justice, there's a tendency to only think about law and punishment, but that isn't the sort of justice I was looking for. I wanted the chance to sit down and talk with the person who stole Janice and explain how much the car meant to me, how I couldn't get home to visit my family, the financial strain, and how I didn't feel safe in my neighborhood anymore. I wanted to ask them why they did it and really listen to the answer. I knew there was poverty in my neighborhood. Maybe this was a symptom of a larger issue. I also wanted a grander version of justice. I ached to live in a community where people felt real connection and empathy and took care of each other, where crime like this wouldn't be an issue. For these moments of vulnerability, human societies have developed justice rituals that provide clarity and direction after a crime occurs. Two such justice rituals are the court system and restorative justice. The ritual of court upholds law and order, but it wouldn't give me the chance to sit down and talk with the person who stole Janice. There'd be no opportunity for understanding or healing. Restorative justice, on the other hand, brings the victim, offender, and community together to talk about what happened, who was affected, and what can be done to make things right. The ritual of restorative justice offers a more holistic version of justice that can result in healing and the formation of stronger communities. So the question my thesis asks is how does restorative justice work to achieve these visionary and transformative outcomes? In answering that question, I'm drawing on theories of ritual from religious studies and anthropology that offer a wealth of insight for understanding significant human encounters. Rituals have long fulfilled many important roles in society, including establishing communal values, creating a space for personal and relational transformation, and even envisioning a better possible future. Through applying theories of ritual to restorative justice, I can understand how the process achieves the multidimensional need for justice. My hope is that a greater understanding of the ritual dynamics at work will ultimately strengthen the process, so that if your car is ever stolen, you have the chance to experience a justice that includes healing and a more connected and caring community. Thank you. Thank you, Lindsay. That's a powerful and quite um, heartwarming story. Uh, so the judges now have an opportunity just to provide uh, a little bit of feedback to Lindsay. Thank you, Lindsay. Very clear and, uh, yeah, a lot of warmth in that presentation too. So well done, but very clearly explicated. Uh, interesting take on a topic um, of restorative justice, probably well known. Um, so I really like the idea that you distinguish between two rituals, the court system and the RJ, and distinguish between them. Thank you. Marvellous, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Lindsay.